Hello everybody, uh, today's topic, uh, chest x-ray lateral view. We have seen a number of chest x-rays in previous videos, all of them either in PA or AP view. When practically dealing with patients, you'll realize that uh, one view is often not enough to make a diagnosis. In PA view, for example, there's no way that you can comment on exact location of the pathology because anterior and posterior structures superimpose on each other. We usually need to get a lateral view to comment uh, on how far deep or superficial uh, a lesion is. Say for example, there's a lesion here, there's no way you can tell whether uh, it is close to the anterior chest wall or it is in the middle or it's a posterior lesion. So you'll need to get a lateral view. So lateral view is one in which X-ray film is uh, placed either on right hand side or left hand side of the patient and X-rays come from the other side. Conventionally, as radiographers will prefer to take PA view rather than an AP view, they would also prefer to take a left lateral view rather than a right lateral view. This is because radiologists want to comment on cardiac size, which is comparatively less magnified in PA view as compared to AP view, and on left lateral view as compared to right lateral view. However, if there's a pathology in right lung, uh, they will prefer to take a right lateral view because they're more concerned about the uh, detail on a lesion rather than the cardiac size. So let's talk about the anatomy of thorax as seen in a lateral view of chest. Unfortunately, I could not find a normal lateral view of chest that has a creative common license. So all lateral views in this presentation have some pathology. This one has pneumomediastinum, which is an abnormality. But then uh, it is good to use this x-ray as we can clearly see the, uh, the borders of heart here. I'm also hoping that some people after seeing these uh, presentations will forward me some good examples with permission to use uh, on YouTube and uh, on other uh, websites. Although all of the lateral views are showing some pathologies, but uh, remember we are not discussing pathologies in this video. We are only interested in learning anatomy at this stage. So superior mediastinum is the area between a manubrium of sternae T4 and T1. Mediastinum is also divided into anterior, middle and posterior compartments. There are several definitions. I would uh, like to describe only one according to which the anterior mediastinum uh, has boundaries from anterior pericardium to the anterior, uh, to the, uh, anterior chest wall here. Middle mediastinum uh, starts from the anterior border of pericardium to the posterior border of pericardium and everything behind is the posterior mediastinum. Trachea bifurcates at the level of around T6 but can move a little bit up or down with inspiration or expir expiration. Immediately below carina, we have left atrium. So this is left atrium on an axial CT scan image which is visible somewhere here. This is right atrium. Exactly in front of right atrium, uh, this right ventricle which is visible here, the anterior, uh, located anteriorly, just underneath the sternum. This is the approximate location of inferior vena cava here, and this line is trachea. Left ventricle lies somewhere here. This is the sternum, this is thoracic spine, arch of aorta is visible here. This is arch of aorta. This is aorta pulmonary window here. These are uh, pulmonary arteries here. You can also differentiate between uh, right and left diaphragm. The right diaphragm continues anteriorly versus left diaphragm does not continue anteriorly. This patient has got uh, early asbestosis. The diaphragm is also a bit flat. It should be somewhat uh, uh, dome shape. It should be curved like that. So this is the, the asbestos, uh, asbestosis plague here. Uh, 
and you'll see a flat diaphragm, often see a flat diaphragm in case of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And approximate location of the oblique fissures is this. And these shadows are uh, pneumomediastinum air in the mediastinum, which should not be which should not be there normally. The lecture is uh, prepared for www.academyofprofessionals.com. Thank you very much.